plot twist. Main character was actually not the main character. D stands for done. Bro's done. He's dead. I think he is. So who's the main character of this show now? The blonde girl? I have no clue. I think some people were highlighting some other suspicious things happening with Blue uh, Ranger as well. Something about him seemed off during the use of his divine artifact. And also, there's this common theme with these divine artifacts. Because all of them, they're kind of grotesque in design. It's like fleshy, bony, who... What, what, what kind of like materials do you use to make these weapons? There's so much more secrets that needs to be uncovered. And right now, it seems like the girl, the main girl, the blonde girl, right? The Who I think might be a duster. I'm not really sure. Shizukuri? Shizu Kitty? That girl's trying to basically collect all of the divine artifacts. Because without that, they cannot kill the dusters, right? So her goal is to basically use the dusters to attack against them when the divine artifacts are away. Or maybe something special happens when you gather all the divine artifacts. I don't really know. But what I do know is this show, honestly, probably one of the most underrated shows of this season. The plot, everything about it has been just so unique, so fantastic. Anyways, let's begin today's episode. Headquarters. Sacred room. Okay. Okay, so every one of these uh, keepers, right, have their own, like, uh... Like, uh, assistant? So, Red Squadron, Junior First Rank, Jin Himura. So, every one of the keepers has their own, like, sidekick. That girl just looks like a Kikuru. Green Keeper. I don't really know much about him, other than that he's, like, super fast and sells sneakers. <laughs> I don't know why this is funny to me. Pink, pink Keeper is really hot, right? Just, I don't know if she is, but based on her design, it just looks, she looks pretty hot, right? But then the dude... <laughs> the, the dude's, like, super huge, just... I was like a little, little mustache thing going on here. Masura Nadeshiko. Wait! Yellow Keeper doesn't have one. Why is that? Where, where did Yellow Keepers go? Yellow Squadron Junior First Frank Yumeko Su Right. Oh, Suzukiri is the, obviously, you know, Suzukiri is the first Frank. Gotcha. Sacred Banquet that rarely, rarely ever happens, but because the, obviously, the. Whose uh, divine artifact we stole? It was Red Keeper's um, divine artifact we stole, right? Because D basically was able to create a fake one, and when he fell off, he secured it, but then acted like, oh, here's your, you know, artifact back, right? So Red Keeper's is gone, and that's why we're having this important banquet. She's like just in like a middle school suit. Sassy. Sassy, sassy. Mistress? Yeah, mistress? What do you mean? Careful, I don't know how old this girl is. They're buddy. Yeah, what, what, you, what the fuck? Why'd you call her a mistress? Are you implying that your buddy is also a mistress here, bro? What are you doing, Blue? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What the fuck is Dragikun Ranger Force mascot? Okay, more new fucking character. The, the I thought we already knew everybody, but the five keepers have their own buddies who are like the rank one of the juniors, and on top of that, they also have a mascot, Dragikun. Is Dragikun the mastermind of all this shit? Is this like gushing over magical girls like Vena? And it's like you know, Vena is like the super mastermind behind everything, but no one really thinks of anything because she's so cute and you know, just a little little clap like that. <laughs> Not much respect shown to the mascot here. Huh? Red Keeper has the final say always, <laughs> and he just disappears. Okay, Draggy Kun. Repent. He's kind of upset there, huh? She was kind of upset there, huh? Little, little, what do you mean I did something fucking wrong, man? And yes, I, I, I do see that. I do see that. Oh. <laughs> it's just gone! <laughs> yes, yeah, pretty bad. <laughs> okay, okay. Blue Keeper and the buddy system is probably the funniest so far. Because, <laughs> like, Blue Keeper seems to be, like, the most hostile, the most, like, mean one. And then she got this lolly, and the lolly just like completely runs him over. It just headbutts him in the face. <laughs> she just steals his food. Yeah, he fucked up. Can't even transform! Wait, wait, wait. Thanks to him, I can't transform. I'm even wearing the outfit for the attraction show. If you lose your divine artifact, 
You can't transform. So he's permanently stuck in this. No, no, no. He doesn't even have the form, right? This is a fake costume. He's cosplaying. Oh, what an interesting art. What an interesting mechanism. So everyone else in here, they have the divine artifact. They can obviously put their power suits on. He can't anymore. So he's completely powerless then? Huh. <laughs> Yo, why isn't Pink talking? Pink never fucking talks, man. Everyone so far is just like, you know, they're, they're, the, the keepers are talking. Pink never fucking talks, man. I think we heard her say like one line before. What kind of relationship do you think these two have? You think there's some like, some BDSM shit going on? You think like... She sits on him, and he's like, oh, and he's like a ball gag. And she just like, <laughs> and like, he just like loves this. What, 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 I, I, I could maybe see something like that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying to like make some random guesses based on like what they just look like. <laughs> there she is. She talking. Someone else. I wonder who could have it. Justice, Justice that. This isn't fair. That's a lot of wasabi. Bro, they're just eating sashimi in front of me, bro. They got like such a traditional Japanese style dinner. This looks so fucking good. I'm so hungry. Hmm? The junior talking up. Holy shit, his own buddy is trying to pull the rug underneath him? That's... This guy's... Red Keeper might just like kill this guy after this meeting. Like, that's not a good look. Which implies that other people beneath Red, there's some like internal faction wars going on. I don't know. But for his like right hand man, like the junior, to be like immediately taking shot at him, everyone is gunning for the Red Keep, like the first rank in a senior rank. Huh? Red did. He's not wrong. Damn, bro, you <laughs> might die today. He leaked it. Did we meet him last episode? Am I forgetting something? Or is this some stuff that happened behind the scenes that I don't know? So he's the one that leaked the information. <laughs> so they're really gunning for him, huh? Everybody on there in the Red Squad, they don't really like Red Keeper. Hmm. How will Red Keeper get out of this one? <laughs> okay, okay, blue. <laughs> Blue and his buddy, something about this is very cute. They're still fighting over her stealing his food. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright. Duel, 1v1. Oh! I mean, if strength is everything. I mean, if strength is everything. Red Keeper's crotch! Boom! And everyone in the room, not even startled. Someone's listening, though. Someone's listening, though. Right? That was, that was bugged there, right? Yo, that blood... Dude, the blood dripping with the soy sauce. Did you see? Look at that, dude. <laughs> and nobody... It just acts like something went wrong here. This is like... They anticipated this. What a fucking scene. It's not even your food, girl. <laughs> it's probably the red haired guy, right? Uh, Suzuki's uh, uh, partner, right? Yeah, it's that guy again, yep. The red haired guy. When is the when when is this hold up hold up I thought that D got hit by the divine artifact and basically just like what was the divine artifact basically the blue divine artifact um it wasn't as cool but he kind of like did some kind of thing and then D just like started to float and become big and big and then it exploded right so I thought he's done but right now the fighter has two choices he's under the assumption that maybe if he lived right blue is thinking that he could survive, but my understanding is that he's dead. 
D is dead, right? Maybe not. Yo! a little upset laugh i'm like you really set me up with this fucking you know d from the beginning and you just kill him off last episode you fucking got me all right suzukiri's explosives somehow saved him how do we survive okay so got almost like a permanent injury there too bad for the keepers man World domination is his goal. Oh, red hair guy. No, he's a friend, I think. I think we can trust him, maybe. Suzuki's orders? Oh, that hole in the stomach from the attack. Wait, 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 what is this? So he said assist. Assist one, beheading one to reduce one's pain. Two, caring for someone. Some of this joke is going over my head, but maybe it's some kind of wordplay. But he's different. What? Putting some of your arm into your stomach, but what about what about your stomach? I mean, sorry, what about your arm now? Is he simping? I can't tell. He is really easy to just, you know, <laughs> hype up, huh? This red haired guy just working him like a fucking donkey. He's already done that before, yeah? Oh, that's weird. That's weird. Just the hand doing it. What about it? What about, what about the duster dick? He is known as D for nothing, right? I mean, what about that duster D? Could he, like, make it bigger? His head could... His, the, the head could also be his head, right? This is possible now. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here's a mask. <laughs> what are we doing right now? <laughs> I mean, if I'm immortal, then maybe. <laughs> I'm not interested. Thanks for a second. Goes into a fucking backstory, just life story drama. Yeah, you're gonna continue. All right, we gotta listen. Let's see the backstory. Dad, big bro. Wait, 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 is this, is this a cat? Some kind of poor cat? Some kind of poor animal that may be still alive. I'm glad you're fine. And then the dad of the big pro shows up. Hey, how, how dare you interrupt the natural selection? Those curls need to fucking eat. That cat needs to die. That's, I... What an interesting way of parenting. Because he's, what he's saying is... There, there is some truth to it, but like, damn, you're like, we'd rather just let this poor animal just die and just let the crows eat? You're basically playing God if you interrupt the natural order of this. No, you left the animal back! I guess we did! Because the animal's not in our hands anymore! Uh, Alright, the dad's a fucking lunatic! What?! What?! That's crazy! The dad's a fucking sociopath! Okay, this is the attack of the, uh... The dusters, right? 12 years ago or some shit. Mom kind of looks like Nobara right here, huh? They all have that characteristic green eyes of the dad. Mom does look like Nobara, though, from Jujutsu Kaisen. Correct the ways of humans. The dad is... Like, kind of scary, the way he talks. He's like, oh, judgment day must come. We have done so much bad to this earth. I accept my fate. Please take me, our new overlords. Like, this guy is extremely scary, sketchy, like fanatic, like a cult. Really? Fuck taught him to act yeah, like this. Scary. The sister seems to not agree with this, but the dad and the mom are completely fine with just relinquishing the control of their life, but just saying Kamisama will, you know, take care of us because we've done no good. So we've done no bad. Interesting. 
Sister seems to think otherwise, though. <laughs> I don't know why. The kid voice acting here is funny. It, it's also like the kids in, in the opening song. Why was this funny to me? <laughs> like a child. Alright, he's always had a heroic spirit. The moon is red. Red Keeper. Your sister's asking a good question. Why is it a given? Why should you just listen to it like that? That is actually one of the most, like, uh, fundamental changes in your childhood. Like, there, when you're a kid, you're growing up and you're a kid. Like, your dad, your parents are basically God to you, right? Your parents, everything that they say, you just kind of listen. You don't really think of it. But once you get a little bit older and older, you start to, like, question yourself. It's like, are they always correct? The things that they're saying, it doesn't seem to really align with what I believe. And that is when things to really change. And yeah, that is the poor cat. Data. I can't believe your dad just let it die like that, man. You're gonna break your remote control is the stupidest thing, bro. Break your fucking TV. <laughs> so he's very against the keepers. He's like, we should just align with the dusters. The fact that you're even fighting against him is causing more conflict. We should just fold. Parents are... I don't know. I don't know. And then one day... God? What is that? Minasan. What the fuck? God descended. I can't really tell. It looks like some kind of angelic figure with wings with a blue head. I don't know. This is the church that our parents go to. I think, right? This is the last episode cliffhanger? Last episode post credit. Oh! You're right! Last episode, what happened? There was some dude, some kind of helmet blue, that the head kind of aligns, right? And he was like shooting people, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, okay. And that's what he calls God, but we don't really know if it's God. And yeah, this is the church where they do the brainwashing. <laughs> the face of God here. I don't know. It, it, the, 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 the design kind of reminds me of the dusters to an extent. Is a duster basically just looking like this and it's the God? Maybe is it one of the bosses? Remember, there was the bosses, right, from, from 12 years ago, right? But from my knowledge, the bosses all just kind of died, and then they had a contract made to run the Sunday show. But last episode, we did see this guy, so it implies that maybe if it is a boss, that they did survive. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dumbass toddler, how can you not think for yourself? <laughs> kind of mean, kind of mean to a little kid, right? <laughs> Kami-sama! <laughs> okay, no god actually says that. Yo! He just showed up and everyone is dead, I think. Most people, there's like, they're stabbed. I think they're all injured. He basically descended from the heavens and all the cults are just basically dead. I mean, if this is what you do to your believers, then no, I don't believe in you. The fuck? <laughs> What? What value does he get from killing his own followers? This is definitely one way to make a child think for himself. Like, we didn't have to kill our entire fucking family for him to be able to, you know, gain critical independent thinking. Okay, he's gonna protect! So we don't know how he survived. There's a, there's a skip here. Would Kami-sama would have just, just on a whim be like, Alright kid, you're funny to me. You, you can live. It's that or someone else showed up and saved him. Maybe it was a keeper? I don't fucking know. But it's, I, I kind of want to believe that Kami-sama here is probably the god, like the boss is right. He just kind of has that duster look. Face-wise, color scheme, and we have never really seen the bosses just yet that apparently fought the Keepers 12 years ago, and then we made the contract on every Sunday to have the show, but interesting backstory.
Holy oh, shit, dude. What a backstory. <laughs> We never asked for the backstory. We basically said, bro, stop it. I don't want to listen. And then he was like, so. And then he gave his entire fucking life story, bro. I enjoyed that backstory, actually. D. <laughs> I'm a weapon of war. It's me. I can do it. That was too easy, dude. And then D saved us. Okay, okay, okay. Basically, we were fucking around for too long. <laughs> it should be easy, I guess. Three? Psych! Oh! <laughs> He's kind of clever, I guess, yeah. He didn't get split in two. This, this, this blue guy is kind of... I don't know. Something is very off about him. He's all acting scared and paranoid, and now he doesn't even get damaged like that. I think he's actually really, really strong. Yeah, he's a little insane in the head. Oh shit! It's the Henshin soundtrack! What? Why do you have a blue? Why? What? What? Divine? There's multiple divine artifacts? That's why his weapon was all bony like. I thought only the keepers have divine artifacts, but this dude in a different rank has a divine artifact? Why? Why? Replica. Replica. So maybe there's some research done where we... There, there, it's not... I don't... We'll have to see if we can actually kill an immortal being. But it seems like other lower ranks kind of a replica. Why do you have it? Can you kill him then? It's capable. He just runs away. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know this either. What the fuck, Suzukiri? Ranged weapon. Oh, careful. Yeah, the fucking divine artifact knockoff can actually kill immortals too. I straight up can't tell if he's winning or not. Ooh. <laughs> can we use it? Oh, 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 oh. I guess we can't touch the Divine Artifact replicas, huh? Power bar from blue. Power of bonds. Uh, I'm assuming this is an important thing, some kind of important mechanic in the keepers to use Divine Artifacts in their replicas. Oh, who is this girl over here? Yo, who is that girl? I, it sounds like power of friendship. You see that? His face is melting. Is that normal? Bro, you're melting, bro. You're melting, Hekiru. The weapon was melting. We asked him what the fuck's going on. He said power of bonds. Maybe this is the consequence of using a divine artifact replica. Does that make sense? This sounds like some kind of negative effect, side effect. I don't know. Divine Artifact maybe is some kind of cursed thing? Who knows? Bro's hair is melting. He might die before getting the strike off. Buy a little bit more time. Let him melt. Let him melt. Oh? Seems to be some kind of battery. What was that? So it's like he plugged it off. The battery went off. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> the stop that! Oh! oh, oh, oh. 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 But it's not on anymore. We can fake his death again. We can fake his death. Yeah, yeah, we're faking his death again. We're faking his death. But they aren't there. They aren't there. They aren't there. No, no. We, 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 the, the, there's multiple tricky things going on. The arm there. The arm there. The arm there. The arm there, dude. Motherfucker, why are you asking me? Do I see the face? Clearly, you didn't listen to me when I said, look at his fucking face. Did you see that fucking smell? Don't ask me. 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 Don
I'm paying attention. Fuck you. But he is the duster right now. Look at his arm, right? Look at his arm. It's all dusty. But the person we just cut off the head there, right? We kicked him off there too. Something was a switcheroo. I can't tell at which point. But the arm, his arm. <laughs> Cut him! Or not. So, what about his hand, though? So, did he actually cut his hand off? Was that an actual sacrifice he made to his hand? Right? Because he can't heal his hand. Bro is crazy enough that he's willing to cut his own hand to sacrifice to save D. That is insane. It's not over yet. Now, D is going back home. <laughs> Crazy, dude! That's massive respect for this guy. In the beginning, I didn't know what kind of character he would be. He seemed like some kind of crazy, fanatical, like, uh, zealot. And he, his parents kind of was. And, and Suzukiri was the main highlight. I'm like, what the fuck is the point of this guy? But there's a lot of focus on him in the opening and the ending, right? And now, the fact that he even cut his own hand off for this, like, it shows you how much he's willing to go... Like, the, he's putting his own skin in the game. Or you. Alright, I wonder where he's gonna go now. And that's the episode. Man, this, today's episode, the backstory of this is actually fascinating. The more episodes I watch, the more like I get more into this story. Because like so far, there was this whole mystery about how... You know, 12 years ago, this castle showed up and the dust dusters are supposed to be the kind of evil, but they had their bosses and the keepers went there to kill the bosses. And then now, the, the, the Kami thing from the backstory, I'm just gonna assume it is a boss. Based off of what? I don't know. I'm, I'm just making a guess. Their, their designs, it's kind of like black, you know, black outer, you know, skin and the teeth. I don't know, but maybe it's a boss that survived. I thought all the bosses died, but this guy is still around because we saw him last episode post credit scene of some guy that looks like him shooting people, right? And beyond that, we know about more of the rankings, I guess, of the different keepers, right? And how they all have their own buddy who is a junior first rank. And you get to see more of the true nature of Red Keeper and is that no one fucks with them. Nobody fucks around. He may act all chill and cool, but like, this is the true nature of this character. And that's why he is like probably one of the most scariest characters in, in this show, even though he acts and just talks so calmly. We get to know about, you know, Hibiki's backstory. His dad and mom are just crazy, you know, cult members. And they got their wish, right? This is what happens when you put your faith blindly into something that you didn't even understand. It comes around and just fucking kills you. And Hibiki was able to kind of figure out how to critically think by himself. And he kind of wants to, like... Back in the day, he kind of wanted to be a keeper, right? But now I'm sure he understands the true nature of keepers. And him and Suzukiri together, they're trying to, like, change stuff from within. But now that he sacrificed himself with his arm... And we've got that play going through. D is going back to the Dragon Keeper's HQ or the basically wherever they are. And he'll be able to work from within again. The Divine Artifact Replica. I didn't completely understand how that made sense with this guy melting like this. Maybe this is only his own power. I thought that melting started because the Divine Artifact Replica started to melt. Right? It started, it started to get hot, right? And we couldn't touch it. And then he started touching it. Then he started to fucking melt. Is this the byproduct? Some kind of negative effect? Because it's a replica? Is there something insidious in nature about the Divine Artifact? There's a lot of fucking questions, but again, this show, it just really makes you think, huh? It really makes you think, and the plot is actually fucking good. And that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.